everybody, this is Dr. Beck, Kosher Functional Nutrition Channel. And so today our topic is prostate health. Now, by subscribing to the channel and commenting, I'm doing prostate health by request. So if you have requests of particular topics you'd like to hear about, let me know. If you want some individualized attention, let me know, either here on YouTube or on my Facebook page. So I'm here for you to help you get to the next level in your life. And holistically, we do physical, mental, and chemical. So in everything we do, there's a balance. And so in, what's the prostate? In a male, not a female, we have a prostate gland. So in our spine, towards the bottom, so we have vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae. Around the first and second lumbar vertebrae on both sides are two kidneys. The kidneys filter the blood and they secrete what we don't need and we put back into the bloodstream the necessary minerals and vitamins etc. So what we don't need we excrete through the bladder and then when we go to the bathroom and there's a tube called the ureter so from the kidney to the ureter to the bladder then underneath that there's a prostate gland it's not that big but it's a pretty important guy and it has to do with the production of semen and so it's in the same area as the reproductive system. Now, as men get older, it's almost a natural occurrence for the prostate to enlarge, which they call BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy. Now, that's what we're talking about today. Basically, everything I'm talking about here is prostate health, which would also prevent prostate cancer. In prostate cancer, there are specific remedies for that, but that's not the discussion today because prevention is the key. Prevention is, uh, is the ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So when the prostate gland enlarges, which is again, I think oh, about 70 some percent of men over 70 years old have an enlarged prostate, so one of the reasons for that is a hormone imbalance. So we check in the bloodstream not just testosterone levels, but free testosterone. And by taking a bio, um, a bio uh, available testosterone, uh, we can really help prevent uh, and, and shrink prostate. I have seen men shrink their prostate based on a um, uh, ultrasound. So it's possible to shrink your prostate, guys. So it's important to take testosterone, either bioavailable, um, uh, a prescription from a compounding pharmacy, etc. So now, when the prostate gets enlarged, it pushes on the bladder, and then the need to go to the bathroom more often happens, and also uh, maybe difficulty in urination, or again, frequent urination, especially in the evening, and it's just not a pleasant thing. So what do we do for that? So like in everything, like we do balancing, there's the no's and the yeses. So let's do first what's not good for the prostate. So let's avoid dairy products, red meat, diet beverages, especially all beverages have much too much sugar, like Coke, Coke and soda. But the chemicals is much worse for the prostate than even just sugar. Coffee, regular tea, white flour, we, we spoke about never eating wheat in our previous um, YouTube uh, video. So remember, again, if you have any questions on that, let me know. But wheat has been changed. There's not real wheat left in the world. And it's the cause of all kinds of inflammation and autoimmune disease, including uh, stuff with the bladder and the prostate. So you could have spelt or whole um, rye, but not wheat. So partially hydrogenated fats like margarine and we're doing away with that, but when I started my practice about 30, 40 years ago, uh, the, the mainstream world was in, in instituting partially hydrogenated fats, and now they realize that that was the cause of much of the heart disease and other issues like prostate so, and tobacco. So these are the things basically to avoid. Now what we can do to help the prostate besides checking and taking testosterone um, is like this. There are certain herbs, and they come in formulas. So when you go to the health food store online, you can get formulas for the prostate. 
And one of the main uh, ingredients is always saw palmetto. And one of the pharmaceutical companies took saw palmetto, again about 40, 50 years ago, and they tweaked it and they made a medication called Proscar, which sold billions of dollars because uh, it became a medication where it's patented versus the actual God-given herb, which works very well and has no side effect. So something called beta cystosterol is usually in those formulas. Now we know zinc, we're, we're all talking about zinc now for the prevention and treatment of COVID-19, but zinc is involved in many different processes in the body for the immune system and also for the prostate and men's sexual health. So uh, dropping down to the bottom, in generally uh, speaking, uh, sexual activity is a good thing for the prostate and to keep the prostate from enlarging. So there are herbs like nettle and uva ursi that are really great to take for the prostate. Uh, curcumin, which is from turmeric, is good for everything including the prostate health. Resveratrol comes from red wine, so drinking a little bit of, of uh, dry red wine is great or just buying the supplement resveratrol. It has been shown in clinical studies really positive for the prostate health. Uh, we know about quercetin also for COVID-19. It's a popular issue now, so it's a great thing to take. I take quercetin on an empty stomach first thing in the morning with some other vitamins. Now, being that the large intestine is here also, and, and as we go to the bathroom, when there are issues like constipation or diverticulitis or something with the large intestine with the colon, then there's something called colonics, which is cleaning out the colon. And it's done here. There are different clinics who specializes in that. It's sort of like a high water enema. And the cleaner the colon, the, the more healthy the prostate gland is, and that can be very helpful. Uh, drinking enough water, uh, good clean water, filtered or spring water. And I recommend taking a little bit of Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt, putting a touch of salt in... Let's see, if you have a liter of water, putting in a quarter teaspoon of salt, shaking it up and drinking that, hydrating all day, really important for the prostate health. And then nuts and berries. So what we should be eating is high fiber foods, cruciferous vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole foods. And, and so if, if we're doing the right thing, we're eating the right way, we're having a good attitude, uh, we're happy people, uh, we have a good, again, a good... Uh, relationship uh, issues with our spouses or girlfriends or however that works. That's how we have healthy prostate. So um, if any questions you have, please let me know and give me some feedback on what else I should be talking about in the future. Again, subscribe to the channel and have a great day.